over on the YouTube channel called Family Bible Time. Been singing some songs and reading the hymn histories of some songs that have been by P.P. Bliss, such as this one. This is a great one. Free from the law, oh happy condition, Jesus is bled and there is remission once for all. And this one here, this was actually the last song that was written by P.P. Bliss. Uh, Philip Paul Bliss was his name. And uh, this was the last song he wrote. It was found in his belongings of uh, the train. Well, actually, it was in the luggage of a different train that was carrying his luggage. The train that he was in crashed in Ashtabula, Ohio in 1876. And there's a link um, that you can go to. I'll put the link down in the more info section below this video. Or you can click on show more below this video and then you'll find that link. And you'll go to this site here, the Ashtabula Bridge Disaster. You know, it's kind of interesting. Something happens that long ago. You know, how long would that be? 125 plus 11... 136 years ago, and, well, okay, it was 24, so it'd be a, well, actually this year it'd be a 135. You know, and you seem to think, well, you know, that was a long time ago. But boy, if you go to this site, and you just read some of the accounts, you know, you see this old picture here, and, uh, you know, it really kind of brings it home, the reality of the thing. Then there's more links here shows the Ashtabula Bridge Disaster Archives. Uh, the summary of the disaster, as stated in Ashtabula County Historical Records, the account of disaster from passenger Marion Shepard, the background of the coroner's jury, um, historical account of the memorial services of the unrecognized dead, the results of the Ashtabula Bridge Disaster, the the timeline of the Bridge Disaster events. That one's really amazing, boy. Um, you read that, and it's just amazing how what kind of a thorough investigation that they did, and how they were able to figure out even how the cars cars landed, even though the majority of them were burned up. Um, then the um, this is what's this one here is very sad. Um, the uh, they have a passenger's list. Um, I'm sorry, that's not it. I, I can't hardly read this on my screen. But somewhere here they have a, a list of... Okay, right here, it's the fatalities. And there, if you go into that, you'll see... There, you'll see Philip um, Bliss's name. But, you know, so many others also passed away. And that's, that's what's really sad. Um, you know, it's, it wasn't just... P.P. Bliss, of course, and his wife. It was many others. And, you know, if you go into that, you can you can see that there were there were entire families even that were that had died in this in this sad tragedy. And there's some, you know, people from all over the country. I mean, it might be interesting for you to go and, and see if there was someone from your area. I'd noticed that there was a 74-year-old lady that, uh, from our area, near our area here, who was one of uh, those that were listed as, well, uh, that had passed. And actually, these ones in red, and this was the name of the lady from this area, um, the ones in red were the ones who were beyond recognition. But it's it, it just really brings it home to you about... You know, even though this was a long time ago by our standards of time, you know, it really, in the face of eternity, wasn't that long ago. Then I urge you to come to this final link here that I'm glad they included with this. It's the sermon of Evangelist D.L. Moody. On this page they also show um, uh, this is what the memorial looks like. In Ashtabula, this was from the from the large gravestone that they put there. But then read this message here. It says, "Sermon on the Death of P.P. Bliss" by Evangelist D.L. Moody, preached by D.L. Moody, 
in the Tabernacle at Chicago on January 30, 31, 1876, just two days after Philip Bliss's tragic death in Ashtabula. Bliss, with his wife Lucy, was scheduled to arrive in Chicago on the Pacific Express to participate in this service. And once again, read this, read this message. It is most appropriate even in this time that we live.